I have moved back home, okay? It's not used to anyone. I've made it pretty clear. Why did you move back home? And I'm gonna tell you guys in this video, moving out of home, rent, bills, food. Now you're thinking about getting the cheapest rice. Now you're thinking about getting the cheapest oil. Oh my God, I can't buy Uber Eats. I wanna have fun. Do it, try it while you're young, right? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Man Like Tess, and I am back again with another video. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna be speaking about why I moved home, right? It's not news to anyone that I've moved back home. I've obviously moved back home. You can see it in my in my YouTube videos. You've seen it on my Snapchat. You've seen it on my Instagram. You've seen it on my TikTok. I've moved back home, okay? It's not used to any of them. I've made it pretty clear, actually, right? But to the why I moved back home. You know, why, Tess? Why did you move back home? I thought you loved the independency. I thought you loved the Melbourne life. I thought you loved the scenery and the, and the creative side of Melbourne. So, Tess, why did you move back home? And I'm going to tell you guys in this video, don't worry, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to give you guys some advice for the younger people, all the older people, right, that may want some advice on moving out of home, right, like you guys saw in the other video, why I moved out of home at 19, I explained to you why. And now it's the video of why I've now chosen to move back home, and we're going to get into a few things in this video that I think you guys may, you know, love to hear, and, you know, you can take pointers, and you can apply it to yourself if you're thinking about moving out. Like I say every video, thank you guys for all the love and support. It means the world to me. You guys are my family. You guys are the people who I make these videos for, right? I love making the videos, but I know you guys love them more than me, right? So I make these videos for you guys. So continue to show support, continue to show love. Triple upload this week, just because I love you guys. We have Promised Land next week. There's gonna be vlogs and vlogs and vlogs at Promised Land. You guys are gonna love it, you guys are gonna enjoy it, I promise you. But without further ado, let's get into the why I moved back home. Okay, the first reason why I moved back home was the rent, right? The rent was so expensive in Melbourne. I don't know, anyone that lives in Melbourne and Sydney, you know how expensive the rent can be. That's if you're living by yourself or with other people, right? It's expensive, right? And I was living like 10 minutes from the city. And I just thought like, why am I paying close to three grand like a month? when I could be literally saving that money and, and putting it towards my content creating and putting it towards things that could benefit me in the future. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 21 years old. Why every single month is it 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000? If you look at all those 3,000s, man, you can like, like I really thought to myself, I was like, I could have like bought land, right? I could have invested in a, in a house by now. You know what I'm saying? I could have invested in better equipment. You know what I'm saying? Like I've always been saying, I want to buy a new camera. Moving out of home, rent, bills, food, I want to have fun. Like these are all things that were just, it was a headache to do, you know? And so I thought I could save so much money staying at home and not having to pay those bills because it got to a point where guys like, I was literally working to pay rent. Like one of my pay, a whole paycheck was going to rent. You know what I'm saying? So that's no way to live. You know what I'm saying? Like I know like we can say independent, independent. Like I wanted the independency. Like I wanted to try at Melbourne. And I'm not saying it's not a good idea to try Melbourne. It's not a good idea to try anywhere. Move out of your home. Like do it. Try it while you're young, right? Or at whatever, whatever age you are. But I'm just saying for me, like I did it for a year and I realized to myself money is important, right? With all the things that I want to do in my life. Money is important. It's not the most important thing, but it definitely does help if you want to do a lot of things, which I want to do. I want to travel, and I thought about it. I can, I can go to Melbourne whenever I want to. If I'm living at home, I can go to Melbourne whenever, whenever I want to. My parents won't say, oh, why are you going to Melbourne? I will go whenever I want, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to buy better equipment to make better quality vlogs, to make better quality videos. I want to invest back into myself. You know, I want to invest. I want to start a businesses, you know what I'm saying? So I just thought coming back home would allow me to save a lot more money and allow me to be... A little bit more financially free and not have the burden of paying rent, paying bills, paying food, all of that, all of that nonsense, all of those adulthood things, if you get what I'm saying. Second thing I want to talk about is the cost of living. Oh my god, the cost of living in, in Melbourne is ridiculous. I feel like things just cost a dollar or two more than here in Adelaide. Here in Adelaide, I'm living with my family, but I'm just like, I'm just deeping it, just like food. Melbourne was a lot more expensive. Maybe it's because I lived, like, I, I was next to a Metro Woolies. That's probably why, maybe that's why. But I just felt like the cost of living, it was just dragged in Melbourne. Like, fuel prices felt like there were more. Cost of food felt like it was more. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm probably not the best person for financial advice <laughs> or the way I spend my money. Because even now, I'm, I'm in Adelaide flipping, getting, getting speeding tickets. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I just feel like the cost of living of just moving out, it just becomes a lot more. 
You know what I mean? Like a lot more. Yes, when you're at home, you don't really realize it. But when you move out, now you're thinking about getting the cheapest rice. Now you're thinking about getting the cheapest oil. Right now you're thinking about, oh my God, I can't buy Uber Eats because I only have so, so, so in my account. Now I have to actually budget. You know what I'm saying? You get into that, like I feel like you get into that, um, that trap of taking out loans or not even loans, using credit, which is bad because credit, you continue paying that forever because that's how they get you, right? Credit, because this is what I was, my, my laptop, my phone, it's all on credit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like I'm constantly always paying it. I'm, I'm just going to have to pay it off with one of my paychecks. Now that I'm living in Adelaide, I can do that. But right? I don't have to worry about paying rent. I don't have to worry about paying bills. The only thing I have to worry about is my car rego, is my car insurance, is my phone, and just things that I need to pay for. Things that I invested in myself for. You know what I'm saying? So cost of living, is it just becomes a lot more. You see it a lot more when you're living by yourself especially in a place like Melbourne or Sydney. Now, the next reason I moved out, and I think I feel like a lot of people that have moved out of home will really, like, deep this. I feel like mental health and my, my well-being. I feel that I wasn't eating properly. Like, I lost a lot of weight. Like, I felt skinnier um, when I was living on my own. Um, my mental health was, I was always stressed, you know, because of a few, a few things that was going on, like, you know, I had to deal with a lot. So I felt like I was always stressed. I was always working. Like I was never working five days, six days a week when I was living back in Adelaide. I didn't even know the most I would work was two days a week, right? And then I moved out and I had to work. Like there's benefits and there's negatives to it. Like I had to work. It took a, a, a strain on my mental health. Yes, I got used to it. You know what I mean? But just in terms of having to know that I have to pay rent and having to really calculate my money and having to really think about what I'm buying and think about, um, you know, this, that, and the third thing about, you know, really be an adult. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm lucky to have the friends and the family that I do have that would help me out when I really, really needed to. But that was always last case resort. You know, there was times where I would eat noodles for dinner three nights in a row. You know what I'm saying? Or I wouldn't have lunch. It would just be breakfast and, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you don't always want to hit people up and be like, oh, like, can I, can I do this? Can I do that? So it does really take like a toll on your mental health because you're alone. You're not alone, but you're alone. Because in one side of you wants to prove that you don't need help from anyone, you move out of home, right? But the other side of you can be struggling at sometimes. Obviously, there's times where you're happy, but there's also times where you're sad. So I felt like that was that for me. You know what I mean? I'm the type of person to try and make the best out of every situation. But a lot of the times it felt... I felt very lonely, you know, and I felt very stuck, you know, because once you sign a lease, like that's you there for a year or however long the lease is. Most times it's a, it's a year. So you have to really think about it. Like your family's not there. You don't have anyone to really rely on. It's you against the world when you move out. And especially at a young age, like I, I felt it. So that's another thing I would say think about before you move out of home, just on the basis of wanting to be independent and wanting to do whatever you want to do without your parents saying this and that. Yes, you have your independency. Yes, you can go out and not have anyone in your ear saying, oh, when are you getting home? You don't even have to tell anyone. You don't have to, I don't have to tell my parents I was going out, right? I don't have to tell them anything. I'm living by myself. Come out, go, go out, come home, whatever time I wanted. But there was a lot of mental stress, like, for the longest time, I didn't have a car. You know what I mean? Like, my car... Before I even drove back to Adelaide, I crashed my car. 1.5,000 gone. I lost my phone. $1.5,000 gone. I'm thinking about rent. $2,000 gone, right? Like, $3,000 gone. Guys, like, all of these things, it, 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 it does take a toll on your mental health because you're not used to it. You're not ready for it. Your brain isn't developed enough for it. I'm not a guru, but I'm just saying it for my personal experience. Like a lot of people will come up to me and say to me, or like they'll try to take the piss out of me for moving back home. Ha, ah, like, you know, Tats got relegated from Melbourne. Tats, ha, ah, you couldn't handle it, yeah? But you have to ask yourself, have you ever moved out of home? Like you've never moved out of home, you know? And I'd recommend you don't move out of home because you're gonna learn real quick that it isn't easy out there. Paying bills and rent and, and paying for your own food and and, and all of that nonsense, it, you realize really quickly that it gets lonely out here, right? You can't move out of home, then ask your mom every week for money. You can't do that. You moved out of home, right? The most I would, I would ask my friends before I asked my mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? So 
yeah, it takes some, I know I talked about mental health a lot, but it does really take a mental, mental toll on you. And that's part of the reason why I moved back. And I was so happy to move back because, you know, yes, sometimes I have my parents on my case, but oh my God, I'd rather have my parents on my case than paying bills and rent and paying for my own food and worrying about where my next meal is going to come from. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. The next part I want to talk about is like the stigma of moving back home. You know, people think to themselves, oh, I'm a failure because I moved back home or, you know, what are people going to think about me? But at the end of the day, like, you know, what's best for you at the end of the day. Like, it, I know we might, we might not want to admit it, but sometimes our parents know what's best for us. Sometimes our parents know they will, they'll tell us what we don't want to hear. I didn't want to be told, oh, to tend to like, you're not, you, you know, like you're obviously struggling. You weren't ready for this. Like, I didn't want to hear it. You know what I mean? I didn't want to hear it. But once I moved back and, and realized like, oh my God, you know, they were right. I wasn't ready for that, you know, because now I'm wake. And, okay, I mean, I work a lot now because I understand that I can make a lot of money if I work and invest back into myself. But now I don't have to worry about, oh, like rent, rent, rent. Oh, food, food, food. Where's food going to come from? Now I can understand, like, it takes time to grow, you know, mentally and physically and, and as an adult to get, prepare yourself for those types of things. So never feel like you failed or never feel like, you know, you didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish just because you moved back home because there's a lot of people that are a lot older than you that have, you know, never moved out. You know what I'm saying? So you've actually done something by trying. I spent a year and a half in Melbourne, right? It wasn't easy, but I learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I gained something for it. I didn't see it as a failure. I didn't see it as, oh, like, like I, I lost, right? I moved to Melbourne and my social media went up. Like, I, but this social media is what I want to do. My social media went up. I moved back home. At least I, I had a successful year last year. I had a very good year last year. You know what I mean? Like I achieved a lot last year. So move back home. You know, you learn, you realize things. It's not a failure. It's never a failure to move back home. Never a failure. You're just being smart. You under, it's, it's not a failure if you have a long-term goal, right? That's the way I think about it. It's not a failure if you have a long-term goal. I have a long-term goal. So you may be asking yourself now, Tats, so like, what are you doing now? What is your plans now? So my plans now is to invest in better equipment, right? I want to start streaming. I want to buy, you know, a better camera. So my camera right now, this is 1080p, right? At this, and it, I can change it from there to there. Like, it, this is 1080p, right? And it's a full, full wide angle. It does 4K, but when it does 4K, it uh, crops it in to like here at 4K. And I don't want that. I want it to be here. I want it to be able to like do this at 4K and it can't do that. So I want to buy a camera that can do that, that can do this, this wide angle and not crop in. I want to travel. You know, I want to be able to make vlogs outside of Australia. I want to be able to entertain you guys more with vlogs that aren't just in Australia, that I'm traveling, that I'm showing you guys the lifestyle of a social media personality. You know what I mean? I want to inspire you guys, motivate you guys. Um, I want to invest my money. I want to start businesses. I want to start making clothes. Like, I want to give back. So, I couldn't do that moved out. Like, you think I would be able to buy a $3,000 camera when I'm out of home? No chance. It's never going to happen. But now that I'm here, right, now that I'm here, I can have all my money, save all my money, getting phone detected. I'm getting speed tickets. <laughs> but at least I'm not paying one point something thousand dollars a month for rent you understand so that's what i want to do you know i just want to invest back into myself to be able to give back to you guys if that makes sense and like you know like i said before i got used to working a lot so now me being able to get that that habit of working and apply it back home bro all my money to me you know all my money back to me no going to rent no going to bills no going to food no going to anyone but myself you understand and with that, I can make more money. So yeah, that's that's my plan. Those are my goals. That's why I kind of moved back home. But yeah, I just want to invest back into myself. So my plans are to hopefully move to America very soon. Like I want to move to America. I want to, you know, I don't want to say too much, but I want to move to a different country and become bigger and become better and to learn more. You know, I know I, I just moved from Melbourne, but I want to really challenge myself and be in an environment where you know this is life social media is life filming yourself is life filming your, your life is life you know and i'm trying to start that here in australia so that i can inspire a lot more people and bring content creating into light like i want to bring content creating into light because i know there's a lot of kids out there that you know when i was their age 
I had the belief that I could be the best in the world. I still have the belief, the belief that I can be the best in the world. You know what I mean? At what I do. So I want to inspire those kids to keep going and to, to reassure them that Australian, like even though we're in Australia, content creating can be your thing. You know what I mean? Content creating can suffice you and you can live off it. So that's what I want to do. You know, um, those are my future plans in a, in a, in a, you know, to keep it short. So my advice to anyone that is planning to move out of home, I would say A, the experience, I promise you, you'll learn a lot. And, you know, I think you'll gain a lot, of, a lot of knowledge if you have a plan on why you're moving out. But I think before you move out, watch this video and and really take down notes and, and think about all the, the, the positives and think about the negatives of moving out, right? The positives being independency. The, the positives being being able to grow. The positives being being able to, you know, see life in a different light, right? Meeting new people. You know what I'm saying? Have those positives, but also have, what are the negatives? Negatives, right? You're paying rent, you're paying bills, you're paying for your own food, you're paying for, if you get a ticket, pay, paying for that. Those those are just, those are just, you know, your normal things, keeping your roof o over your head. And now you're talking about mental, you're alone, right? It's only you against the world, basically. You know, you can't save as much as you want to. You can't go on holiday as much as you want to. You can't invest back into yourself as much as you want to, all because, you wanted to try and be independent and, and see how the world was, which is not a bad thing. I did it. I loved it. I think it was amazing. But I also realized that although it was amazing in that aspect of being able to learn, it was also stupid because all that money I spent on rent, on bills, on food could have been saved and I could have invested in other things. So, you know, when you think about, oh, my mom tells me to do this. Oh, my dad tells me to do this. My dad doesn't let me go out. Think about all the things that you can do with the money that you're saving and how young you are. I'm not saying don't move out. I'm not saying don't go explore the world. I'm just saying think about what you want to do in life and have it in your mind what it will mean once you move out and, and, and sign that contract on that lease for one year and all that money that you're paying seeing it go and go and then when you look back on your gross of what you've made that year you look at the percentage that you actually have and then the percentage that's gone to rent and bills and food so that's all i'm gonna say but it's an amazing experience but just keep that in mind for everyone anyone that wants to move out or anyone that wants to to do that sort of thing because as as good as it could be it, can, it has its it has its negatives but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video on why i moved back to adelaide why i moved back home with my family um i hope you know, someone watching has taken notes and has, you know, learned something and maybe they've changed their decision. Maybe it's made you want to move out quicker, right? But whatever it is, I hope I helped someone out. Um, that was my experience. I, like I said, I loved Melbourne. Melbourne's a, a great, a great city. But for me, it's probably one of those things where I go on a weekend with the boys or I go on business trips because Mel Adelaide to Melbourne is not that far. It's like a 45 minute plane ride and it's not that expensive either. So for me, I can go whenever I want and I just thought I would save my money. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked this video, enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share this video to your friends and family if you haven't already. It's been your boy, man, like tats. And I'm out. Peace.